welcome back to the Friday's Let's Play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, just gonna start things off real quick. Um, uh, buddy works for my family. Been, uh, I guess he's been supporting me a little bit, and he wanted a shout out. And I've never done it before, so I'll just go ahead and give a shout out to Nick. So there you go. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, today we are going to be working a little bit on this extension project. I kind of started it off a little bit on this side and over there and kind of left it and I feel that it needs to be uh, jump started back up again so basically as I was right about there so I've kind of mapped out this area a little bit all the way up to about right here and like I said the rest of it will kind of wind its way on and back around but uh, let's just jump into this real quick. A uh, couple things on my mind. I usually kind of uh, go ahead and map out what I'm going to talk about or just uh, do jump cuts. But I'm kind of going to do a little bit on the fly today. But a little bit on my mind lately. Um, like I said, as most of you or all of you may know. Uh, I am a college student, athlete, and father now. And let's just say, somebody's hit his period where he likes to be a little fusser 24-7. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and it's starting to take a toll on everything. Not to say that I don't, I don't still love him. I still do. Don't worry about that little buddy. But uh, it's made me realize a lot of things. Primarily that stress is inevitable. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like I said, stress is inevitable. There's just, there's so many forms of stress it's not even funny. And it's getting me thinking a little bit. What would we do without stress? A lot of you might be thinking, well, pfft, heck, I could do a lot without stress. But could you honestly just live without stress? I think it begs the question, would we be able to function perfectly normal or would it cause some weird side effect? Because right now I'm functioning rather normal, but at the same time I am tired as all can be, but I'm functioning normally. Now, part of me wonders if that's not abnormal. And the fact that I may need to go see a doctor and <laughs> figure something out. Or is it just that body's natural response to... Hey, quit that. Is the body's natural response just to keep doing what it's doing and don't look back pretty much. Now, like I said, after being up for a couple nights, not all night, but... He just gets to where he just does not want to sleep. Isn't that right? You just don't want to sleep. And, uh, like I said, it's a constant battle every time for nap. Like I said, tried everything from feeding him right before, feeding him an hour or two before, sleeper hold, not literally the wrestling mood. Don't, do not take that the wrong way. It's just where you kind of swaddle him to where he doesn't really move a whole lot. And just this and that and everything, and just nothing tends to work. And... Like I said, uh, I think Alex said it might be just a phase period where, like I said, we're kind of weaning him out of the old crib or sleeper and into the actual crib. So it's either a phase or he just he's just one of those types of people. <laughs> I really hope it's not the second one. Uh, but uh, like I said, just that's been on my mind a lot lately. So. Just wanted to go ahead and throw that out there for you guys, and maybe you all know what I'm dealing with. Maybe you, uh, maybe you don't. I don't know, but like I said, I had to put out put that out there to let you guys know kind of a little bit what's going on behind the scenes as far as life goes. But I'm gonna go ahead and lay out the rest of this to the gate here and over there, and I'll jump back. It'll probably be tomorrow sometime in real life, not tomorrow as in. Literally when the sun goes down, like right now. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, guys. Here we got it. 
Uh, this is all the progress I've made so far, and that used up about an inventory of uh, cobblestone and half slabs, but as you can see, we're fairly close to, whoa, chunk errors everywhere, but uh, we're fairly close to uh, evening out, but uh, like that took me quite a while doing off screen, like it's 3 o'clock the next day, so... Let me just hit F3A, reload some of those chunks, or just make everything void. <laughs> oh, easy killer, easy killer, easy, oh. But, uh, yeah, that's done for now. Like I said, I'll probably do the rest of that off camera. I might go ahead and do one of the walls on camera at a later date, but uh, as of right now, I'm not really in the mood for building something massive but I am however been throwing around this idea a little bit uh, wasn't sure if I wanted to do it just yet or not but I think since we kind of laid some of the groundwork for the uh, towers and structures I think eh, why not we'll just go ahead and lay out the starting foundation for the castle itself and by starting foundation I mean all the dirt that all the dirt for it so uh, that should be way more than enough but yeah like I said I was bouncing around ideas for this episode uh, I knew I wanted to work on the walls for sure but after that I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do and that's when I kind of came up with the idea. Well, let's just go ahead and start work on the castle itself. So, and realistically, this castle will not be built anytime soon. I just wanted to get go ahead and get the dirt work down. Where did I want that to be? I wanted it to be about the same height as that, or a little taller. Yeah, I think that height works just great. There we go. Alright. Go ahead and just make a little platform up here. Now, I have not uh, mapped this out in my head at all. What is that? Oh, wind's blowing outside. <laughs> But uh, like I said, I have not mapped this out at all. I was just going to kind of do it as I thought it would fit, if that makes any sense. Like I said, the main room-ish center of the castle will be probably more towards the back area. Like I said, where this land kind of uh, naturally rises up might be the beginnings of it. Yeah, that's that's still not well, far enough. I was contemplating a 64 by 64 cube of dirt just to kind of map things out, which I might still do that. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that real quick. And uh, I'm not gonna make the whole cube on camera right now. But uh, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that it's, this will not be a cube at all. This is just the dirt work right now. And something I just now thought of. Either I need to move every single animal and farm. Is my chicken jockey still here? I'll look, I'll look, I'll look later. But I have to go move all those farms and all those animals out of this range. Because it will get dark as all can be once this thing gets filled in. Let's just try 31. Yeah, I think uh, 32 is about the right number. And like I said, I totally forgot about my chicken jockey. I don't know. Oh, that hurt. I'm not sure if I uh, showed you guys this or not, if he's still here. Aww. How did he... Uh, see, this is why you don't 
go into the test world too often. You come back on peaceful mode and your chicken jockey's gone. At least he wasn't name tagged. That's about the only good thing about that. But like I said, I have an idea in mind for chicken jockeys. But if they keep despawning because I'm a derp, that will never happen. <laughs> oh, I hate chicken jockeys. Actually, I hate the game mechanic where they are allowed to despawn if it's peaceful. You'd think if, they ha if they're holding something that you gave them, they wouldn't be able to despawn. And in that matter, how come going in peaceful mode won't fix worlds? Hmm. Interesting stuff. Uh, that's about right where I want it. And why is that pig loose? I have no idea. <laughs> But, uh, where was I going with that? I have no idea. But kind of just going through some things in my head, uh, recently. Like I said, it's springtime. It's, uh, start of allergy and sickness season. Like I said, I've kind of been fighting a stomach bug for a little bit. And, like I said, I still feel like crap, but, like I said, uh, college students kind of do what you have to do and, don't really complain a whole lot, but we're college. I'm a college student, so that just doesn't happen. But uh, yeah, like I said, why did I jump in here? Give me that one. No, give me it. But yeah, like yeah. I think I will have to expand this out more whenever I actually start building the castle. I still need to work out that on off camera, like in a creative world, how big I want it. I know I want the, I know I want it to go into a dungeon area. Just, like I said, I need to work things off, off work things out off camera, but yeah, it'll come sooner or later. But like I was saying, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this away. I don't need all of that. Like I said, it's uh, springtime. Uh, semester's winding down. Summer breaks right around the corner, and uh, let's just say this classes are hectic this time of year. And keeping this uh, Monday Friday schedule is going to start getting tougher and tougher. So, I said all the support you guys can give me would be much, much appreciated. Because, like I said, if I'm uh, doing all this instead of uh, studying, then. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's gonna it's gonna kick my butt sooner or later. But needless to say, I I like doing this. It's kind of my stress reliever to some degree. Like I said, if I didn't have Minecraft and uh, everything I do on the side, like uh, my art and everything, I'd probably rip my hair out. Like I'm like seriously, I I just go bald. Whoa, lag spikes much. But, um, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts of right now. Summer, on the other hand, summer will be interesting. Like I said, it's going to be first summer as a dad. Whoa, quit it. Um, first summer, really going all out with the YouTube. Now, when I say all out, I don't mean everyday videos. But uh, I started this channel last summer at the end of the summer, or mid-summer. So I really didn't get into the swing of things as much as I should have. But I'm hoping, like I said, with summer around the corner, I'm hoping I'll get a little bit more recording time, a little bit more free time, which, well, summer also comes jobs. So that's going to, that's going to play a key role in a lot of things. But, uh, like I said, I have a couple options for summer jobs. Realistically, I want to start getting more into the art industry type jobs, like uh, ad designer or something like that for uh, people around my uh, town or anything like that, really. Hey, you guy, you need to die. Come on, drop it. Thank you. But at the same time, I also gotta uh, remember to 
I'm a father now, so I need to help provide for my child. So I can't really restrict myself to all the kind of jobs I would like. Whoa! Lag explosion. How many entities are down here? Not really a whole lot. Like I said, I ain't got none built up down here. A chicken shouldn't be overwhelming. Yeah, there's under a hundred. Ooh! There's a live chicken in there somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, that's you right there, isn't it? I wonder... Hmm... Die, chicken! <laughs> But, uh, like I was saying, um, summer job and everything coming up, it's just going to be a little bit more, not as stressful as college. College just, uh, college gets me to a point where I just, eh, I'd like to rip my hair out, but, like I said, without the stress relief of, uh, video games, track, and everything else, I think I would already have done it. <laughs> But, uh, let me know what you guys think about, uh, a couple s Whoa, quit that. I don't know why, but you're being laggy all of a sudden. No ch- Aww, sorry, 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 gotta go. Really? Okay. There we go. <laughs> but, uh... So much car alarms going off. But... I need to stop getting sidetracked. Like I said, let me know what you guys think for uh, some summer series. Uh, if you guys want to see some Hunger Games adventures. Uh, I still want to try to get a server up and running, but that's a lot more difficult than you would think. But, yeah. Like I said, it's a lot more difficult to, like I said, I'm open for any kind of suggestions you guys might have as far as uh, some summer series like I said, things that aren't too terribly bad to make but at the same time are fun enough for me to get into like I used to play Skyblock back when I first got into Minecraft like I said, I found that to be interesting, but as time grew on, it's more of uh, it's ten times more the grind of regular Minecraft. Because everything was out of cobblestone, you had to have a cobblestone generator, and it just yeah, it got tedious. But as far as oh, come on, Enderman! Don't worry, sooner or later I will make an actual Enderman grinder. But for right now, I'm just doing this because I need Ender Pearls. Well, I don't need them. I want them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Like I said, the whole Skyblock thing, it's... I haven't, I haven't watched or seen any of the newer Skyblocks. But I have a feeling it's very similar to the old one as far as the grind. Now, as far as other quote-unquote survival maps, a few come to my mind like um, Ant Hill or Ant Farm or something like that. Um, what was the other one? Skyblock, Ant Farm, Ant Hill. One of the two, I can't remember. Um, what is another one? God, I just had it on top of my head. Chunk Survival, which that's also pretty much Skyblock, just uh, not just a small island, it's a chunk. Which that could be interesting in its own way, just because you can have limited resources, whereas Skyblock is extra limited with a um, chest sporadically laid out. Now there's also. What was the other one? It's like Pillar Survival. Or there's Seth Bling's um, Sky Grid, which I'm sorry, I will never do that. That's just, uh, 
I played that for a short period of time and I got dizzy trying to find my way around that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I had planned out for this episode. Probably a short one, which like I said, ever since I started playing Feed the Beast, my time's been split and I can't make as much progress on this world as I would like. Hopefully that changes with um, uh, Feed the Beast getting more into the automation program or process. But like I said, it's, uh, it's all up in the air. So, like I said, so far my Feed the Beast and my uh, vanilla have kind of balanced out as far as views. So, I'm going to try to do my best to keep up with both of them. But that's about all the time I have for you guys. I'll see you. Later. Peace.